After three years of playing classical guitar, it is finally time for me to learn tremolo. For me, tremolo has always seemed so far away and I never knew how hard it exactly was or how good I had to be before I started learning it. When you hear songs like Leanda and Recuerdos de la Alhambra, you think there's no way in hell I'm learning to play that anytime soon. Then one random Saturday afternoon, my teacher hit me with the, do you want to learn tremolo? And I was like, damn, I'm ready? I knew little to nothing about tremolo other than that you needed to move your fingers really fast and that it sounded cool. So to begin, I'm learning the tremolo PAMI arpeggio and to begin by playing, placing, playing, and placing on the string to get used to the movement. By this, I mean when I play one finger, the next one gets placed onto the string and I make sure that it's firmly placed at a good spot on my fingertips before I release pulling the trigger and plucking. So when I play my thumb finger, my P finger, I end up placing my A finger, and when I play my A finger, I place my M finger, and I repeat this throughout the arpeggio. By doing this slowly, my fingers get used to the arpeggio motion, and I'm able to adjust anywhere that sounds weird. I started doing this solely on the high E string so that I didn't need to worry about my wrist or my thumb positioning like you would when doing a tremolo on multiple strings. That way I could focus just on my sound and where my fingertips were coming in contact with the string. Once I figured out how the tremolo worked, it was time to look at some exercises. From here, I went to Pumping Nylon by Scott Tennant, page 56, and did exercises 1 through 7. The first three exercises were solely on the high E string. Each was a different pattern, and I used these to get familiar with playing tremolo in different tempos. Once I felt comfortable with the rhythm, I'd bump up my metronome 3 to 4 beats per minute at a time, and see if I was able to play the tremolo continuing a good sound and rhythm. This also helped me with endurance since each pattern had a repeat at the end. For exercise four, we begin to move the thumb, the bass note, from the first string to the other five while keeping the AMI arpeggio fingers on the first string. This exercise also makes you alternate the bass between the high E and the other five lower strings. For exercises 5 through 7, I worked on accent notes, first accenting only P and M before accenting only A, and then accenting only I. This helps each of my fingers have more expressive control and it will help me when I have to play pieces that bring out a certain voice. While working on the tremolo, I had to be aware of my finger balance, making sure that I wasn't using too much bass and that each note was even. By playing P, A, M, and I at the same speed and not bursting through, my tremolo would sound more even rather than separated, choppy, and accented. As I continued learning tremolo, I realized that as I increase the tempo, there's micro inaccuracies creating an artifact. When you place and play your fingertips for a free stroke, there's a sweet spot that doesn't create any artifacts or remnant sounds that you don't want. But when I play faster, it's harder to control your fingers to get that sweet spot every single time. So when I play fast, my nails can hit the string before my flesh does, creating a remnant sound that I don't want. To decrease this, I began doing slower practice, working at half tempo and observing my fingertip placement, then moving to full tempo and making sure that my flesh was landing before the nail and catching any artifacts before increasing the tempo. During my last lesson, I started working on Tremolo on a Study by Carcassi, and in this piece, I began learning how to play tremolo on different chords and switching between different bass notes. For my lesson this week, I'd only gotten up to the first repeat, but I'd rather have one page played well than four pages played very mediocrely. The main challenge for this study was the left hand chord changes. I wanted to play the tremolo far faster than I could move my left hand, and it was really frustrating. To work on this, I'm going to be doing a mix of slow, intentional, and targeted practice where I take care of the notes, along with reflexive practice where I work on speeding up my tremolo despite not every note sounding perfect. Because if I only moved up the tempo when I sounded good, I'd be stuck at 50 beats per minute forever because I never think that what I'm playing is good enough.
To help with the chord changes, I'm holding the chord and playing it multiple times before moving to the next. That way my hand gets used to playing and hearing the chord before switching to the next one. And as I increase the tempo, I also will increase the number of times that I repeat that measure and I feel like this has really helped my playing and getting my left hand more used to those chord changes. I absolutely hate filming videos where I don't sound good, but I need to get more used to it if I want to document my progress. Nothing is going to be perfect, especially when you first start learning a piece. So here it is, nice and raw for you guys. Also, another thing is that when my teacher viewed my tremolo, he noticed that my left hand was really tight. I'm a continuous offender of working harder than I have to, and I put way too much pressure into my playing when I don't have to. We talked about the fingertips being controlled by the muscles in your arm rather than in your hand, and squeezing my hand harder wasn't going to help my left hand play any better. To practice this, I did the motion of playing a note, and then I press on my arm and I can feel the muscle actually flexing there. Whereas when I move to the upper hand, I don't feel any of my muscle is moving there. I was just creating a lot of unnecessary tension by squeezing my hand harder. My hand is only controlling the abduction of my fingers and when I played bars, I was trying to press my hand harder rather than adjusting my arm. It's not that my hand didn't play a role in the chord, it just wasn't the primary role. I was able to now focus my attention to the right muscle being the arm muscle while playing to engage it better. By losing the grip that my left hand had, this would also help me be less tight in my right hand since the hands tend to copy the strength of another. For this week, my goal was to work on the next section of the tremolo study, which now did a tremolo on the second string rather than just the first. And now I had to focus on my right hand extension since extending too far while I'm on the second string meant bumping into another string. For the first time in a while, I'm actually feeling motivated to practice and I'm really looking forward to starting to work on tremolo pieces. I love you all so much and hope to see you guys in the next video.